Dr. Gabriel Lyon, Director, Muscle Centric Health in New York, interviewed by Dr. Paul Saladino. Think about for the general public who are middle age between maybe 20 and 50 years old or 55, Mm -hmm. what is protein doing when we eat it and what does it mean when we eat enough protein? So you're making sure that you're getting enough leucine per meal. So it's not necessarily the protein, right? Because you've got pea protein and soy protein, but it it is really the amino acids that are necessary. So as you age, you get this thing called anabolic resistance, right? So the protein that you ingest becomes, it, it doesn't quite stimulate the body the way that it should, the way that it did maybe perhaps when you were in your 20s. So you require more of this over a period of time. What's happening though right now is that there's this anti-animal narrative. So we're talking about having more plant-based proteins. That is the single worst piece of advice that I could ever give anyone. And I actually trained as a geriatrician. So after doing two residencies and a fellowship in geriatrics and obesity medicine, my job was to help aging individuals. And the single, I'll say it again, worst piece of advice you could ever give someone who's aging. And I have to say, we're all aging. And then as we advance in age, the other way to then stimulate it is through resistance training and protein. Right. Um, But as we age, that becomes more challenging. So having high quality protein, really, you know, even as you're young. So yes, you can get away with it in your 20s. But if you have any issues with body composition, The obesogenic model of an individual is also similar to an aging individual when it comes to tissue. Mm -hmm. The more obese it is, the the less healthy the muscle tissue. Let's talk about the the threshold. So what I've heard you and Don talk about is 2.6 grams of leucine per meal or in in a meal to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. Do you still think that's a reasonable number? Right. The The requirement, 2.6 grams leucine, which comes from 50 grams of animal protein. That's the minimum per meal to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. This should be done at least twice daily. An example, two beef patties contain 40 grams of protein, zero carbs. Two slices of Swiss cheese, 12 grams of protein, zero carbs. We know that we need 2.6. That's right. In in one meal. Yes, sir. Right. To trigger sort of the switch. Mm Mm-hmm. That means muscle turns on, muscle sort of repairs, muscle is maintained. Is that what, that's, what hap- that's what's happening when we get this yes. sort of leucine trigger is the signal to the muscle to say, stay where you are, maintain your strength, maintain your vitality, maintain the lean mass in the body. One of the things that we cannot argue that is hard and fast is the quality of protein. The amino acids are the amino acids. You know, it's really easy to get essential and non-essential amino acids, right. truly right? That's not the issue. Mm -hmm. We are talking about having enough amino acids at a particular dose to trigger a physiological response. And specifically, if we just break it down, we're thinking leucine here. You can't, right. Basically, the conclusion is that as we age, we need more protein to trigger this response. And as we age, we need more protein, which really flies in the face of this narrative that is growing now that we should be limiting our animal protein. This is actually dangerous advice. Summary. Muscle strength, most critical for longevity as we age, requires resistance training, weightlifting, and animal protein. To stimulate muscle growth, daily, two meals, each having 50 grams animal protein minimum from meat, fish, eggs, cheese, whey protein drinks, etc.